We are now in Cognos report that is using prompts. We are inside of the prompt page and here we have two prompts. This prompt on the right side is auxiliary prompt for this demonstration, so I named its parameter param unimportant. In most cases we will talk about this prompt on the left side. Uh, this uh, prompt has multi-select turned on, it has a parameter param man key, and it has default selection. That default selection is number one for the month January. And we can also notice that this prompt has different use value and display value. Use value is month as a number and display value is month as a word. We will now jump here to page one and here we have two lists. This list on the left side is the one that will be filtered and the list on the right side is using layout calculations. So if I double click here, we can see that I'm using power and value function to return use value for this parameter. And similarly in this second column, if I double click here, I'm using power and display value to return display value for this parameter. And I will now go here to Excel and we will import uh, this report. So I will double click on our report. I will click on finish and this is our report. Uh, first we have to select the value from our prompt. Uh, default value is already selected. I will click on finish. And this is our data. We can see that use value is one and display value is general. We will now go to this second tab. And here now we have this uh, section that is common for all of the prompts. But for each of the prompts, uh, we have separate section. So we have one section for that left prompt and one section for that right prompt. We will first talk about this common property. I will change this to prompt page. If we are using prompt page, and if we refresh our data, then we will get always a prompt. So we can select some other month. I will, for example, select February. I will click on finish. And now we can see here number two and display value is February. If I choose do not update, that means that after I refresh data, use value will change, but display value will not. Do not update means the display value will not be updated. So first I will go here to a paramount key and I will change use value to some other number, let's say to three. I will then refresh my data. I will click on yes. And we will now see how use value will be refreshed, but display value will not. We also have this third option and that is use is equal to display. That means that use value and display value will be this, totally the same. So I will now click on refresh data and we will now see that display value will also be three. So use value will be three, display value will be three, and we will not have a word inside of display value, but we will have a number the same as in use value. We will now take a look at properties that are specific for each prompt. I will go here to a paramount key, and here we have a property type. This is the most important property here. And currently we have specified value selected. That means that anything we type inside of this uh, field, for example, I will type four, will be used to uh, filter our data. So when I refresh my data now, I will click on yes, I will get the values for month April. We will now go back and instead of specified value, I will use cell value. Cell value means that we have to provide a value for our prompt uh, inside of some cell in a spreadsheet. For example, I will select this cell I2 and here I will type number five. Uh, then I will go here to cell reference. I will click on three dots and I will uh, leave this cell I2 uh, in selected here. I will click on OK. And now everything that is inside of this cell will be used to provide the value for our prompt. When I refresh my data now, I will now get the data for the month May. Then again, we will go here to Paramount month key and we will change this cell value to custom property. That means that we will fetch a value from the custom property. Inside of this field custom property, we have nothing. So first we have to create custom property. And for that, we go here to file, we go to info, we go to properties, we select advanced properties, and here we type a name of our custom property. I will just type ZZZ, 
and I will give it a value, for example, sixth. I will click on add, and now we have a new property. We can also delete it with this delete button if we want to, but I will leave it here. I will click on OK, and then we will go back. And now, if we go here to custom property, in this drop down menu, I can select my custom property. Now, inside of that custom property, I type the value sixth. So when I refresh my data, I will click on OK. I will uh, get the values for the month June. And the last option that we have here is option always prompt. That means that we will always get a prompt dialog for this uh, prompt. Uh, and one more thing that we were not talking about is what if a user want to select several values. Well, first I will go here to this prompt update method and I will first select prompt page. And then I will refresh my data and I will change this to, I will leave it as always prompt. And then I will refresh my data. I will click on yes. And we will assume that now we have to select several values. So I will select January and February. I will click on finish. And now we have used value as a list with one and two, and this value is January and February. But we can notice now that that section, uh, power month key, is now divided in two parts. So we have one part that is for January and the other part that is for February. And now we can give two values to our prompt. If we do not want to provide the value for our prompt, instead of value, we should type then no value like this. We shouldn't leave this field empty because that would mean that we are providing null value. Instead of that, we should type no value. Now let's assume that this report is finished and we want to share this report with our users. For that, we can publish this report to Cognos. And before that, we should go to our regional settings and we should make sure that we are using English as our language uh, because this will not work for Serbian language and probably it will not work for many languages, but it will work for English. So now that we have said that, uh, we can click on publish button and we will get this dialog. Here we have these buttons for my folders and public folders. Sometimes uh, these buttons will not appear. There is some kind of software bug, but now we have these buttons and we will go to public folders. I will create new folder. I will select it. I will enter this folder and then I will publish this Excel file to that folder. So I will click on publish and now our report is published. We will now go here to Cognos. Uh, we will go to content. We will go to team content and we will go to this folder, new folder. Here is our report. Now, inside of Cognos, there is not much we can do with this uh, report. So the only thing that this is useful for is to share report with some users. Now other users can download this report from the Cognos. For that, we will go here to Excel. And first I will close this a file because this file has the same name as that file on the Cognos and we know that we cannot have uh, two files with the same name open at the same time. So I will first say this, I will go to file close, I will close it, then I will click on open button and here is my report and I will just click on open and now we have uh, my uh, report shared with the user. Now I want to tell you that uh, it is important that our language is English when we are publishing report, but for downloading report, so when we are using open button, it is not important what uh, language we are using, so language is only important when we are using publish.